Yo, what up? It's Penguin Niece. And listen to me, it's really f***ing cold over here. But not for me, because I'm a penguin and I like that. Now, the boot camp is on November 1st. You better sign up or the price is going to double after that. And by the way, if you're a peeping Timo and you watch this content without liking, <laughs> subbing, and, and commenting, you probably eat turds. Your breath probably smells like doo-doo butter. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Enjoy the video. Maybe I can probably win a trade with Garen at level one. Yeah, come but, here. Uh, come here and fight me. Uh, Just fight. Just fight. If don't don't ignite, don't ignite. Just auto. So you see, go ahead, and press B. So you win level one. I just want to show you that Wukong wins level one pretty easily. Yeah, but what if Gara starts E? He would. You would still win. You'd 100% win. Never forget why we fight. Cuz E doesn't really do anything early. Now I'll let you auto the minions first and then show me how you play. Okay, um I typically wait until the first three minions are low at health and go Okay, leave. Let's try again. Now, what just happened? Every minion that you go for, there is a chance that your opponent will fight you for that minion. Okay? okay. If I walk up to you and look like I'm going to fight you, you have to immediately be ready to respond. Every minion is a negotiation. Yeah, I understand that. I've, I've seen a video talking about this with the dark areas. Good. So, we're, our goal is to get you used to pushing into me. You're going to push into me, and I'm going to fight you, and you have to respond. Come fight me real quick. I'll, I'll do E level 1, you so you can see. See? Oh, you canceled your auto. You canceled your auto. <laughs> Press B. <laughs> Make sure you don't cancel it. Yeah, that's, that's one of my first first problems. So, I can't really click on a target that is moving. So, you don't want to click on a target that's moving. Press A and left click. Okay. So, pre press A right now. Wait, you have weird settings or something? What is that? That's A. You have you have some strange setting configured. Because normally it's A left click by default. Oh, I, I click make, make it like whenever I click A, then then it's another. So shouldn't I do that? Yeah, but the, the, then that uh, then I'm gonna ask how did you cancel an auto then? Because you shouldn't be you don't have to click on me. Oh, I use right click for that. Yeah, that's why you should. That's what A's for. All right, go ahead and push into me. Yep. I'm gonna let you start off like this. Now, the first minion of the second wave is level two. Okay. If your opponent walks yep. up to you, don't use your abilities on the wave. If your opponent walks up to you, get level two and be aggressive as soon as possible. Now get level two first. Get it. Get it. Now fight. I see no E. I see no auto. I see no Q. What happened there? Are you friends? Are we friends? What's going on here? E. E me. <laughs> 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 
I back up. If I walk into range, go ahead and use your health pot and uh, keep pushing. Keep pushing. So should yep. I be slow pushing? Well, for right now, I want you to push. I want you to push fast. If I walk oh. up, E auto Q. I'm in range. You're letting me do this. Try again, leave. So we're misclicking a lot. What is your sensitivity? So that's the first thing that we have to that we have to fix up. So yeah. the choice between Doran Blaze and Doran Shield is that if the champion has a poke. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So whenever the champion does not have poke, I should go with D Blaze. Yes. Pretty much, yes. So come here. Now all you have to do is A. If, you, if all you have to do is press A to fight, then just do that. You can move between auto attacks. Right click between. Yeah, there you go. You see all that downtime between auto attacks? Press B. Yeah. That rhythm is consistent. So your only timing to move is between the auto attacks. You can't move any longer than that rhythm. Hey. Does that make sense to you? Yep. So the reason you're canceling, or the reason that you're canceling autos is because you're moving too much in between. So it's like a drum beat. Yeah, so basically every time you auto, that rest period, you're allowed to move, but don't move too much between the rest period or you'll screw up your auto attacks. Now come okay. to lane and start pushing into me again. Alright. If I walk up, E me and auto. You're not eating me. I don't know why. So just eat yeah, me. E, e me. E me. Me, not the minion. Wait for your E to come up and try again. E me. Is this a troll? Nope. I am trying my best. E me again. There you go. Now, what you just did, every time I walk, every time I walk to the minions, you need to, you need to pressure. Now, the other thing is, what's about to happen is you're about to be on defense. Yep, there's a bounce back, right? Yep. So here, if you go near me, I'm going to pressure you. So don't go near me or I'm going to kill you. Should I pop my pops? Yep. Now you just play really defensively. You can always use your W if I get close to you and run away. You just need to make sure to be in XP range. Don't lose any XP. Okay. Should I be trying to stand in the wave? No. No, just XP range. If you go anywhere near this wave, I'm gonna I'm gonna trade hard into you. Okay. <laughs> This is good. You just don't want me to kill you. And I might do this from time to time. Come right back. Good. But you can't fight me at all because there's just too many minions. Got it. That was fine. Yeah, that was a good idea. All right. If you auto me, all the minions will target you. So be very careful. Even though I'm under tower, if you auto me, you'll get fucked up by the minions. Yeah. 
Now just clear the wave calmly. Now in a real game, your opponent will probably do something like this. He'll probably just stand here and dance around. Right? He's not really going to fight you. Because if he autos you, the tower autos him, you see? Now, once the minions thin out, don't use your abilities because you need them to fight me, okay? Okay. So now, start autoing the wave. If I walk up, you need to auto, you need to E to me and W in front of me and hit me all the way back to tower, okay? You ready? Okay. Try it. W in front and keep autoing. Yep, Q. Good. Now go back to slow pushing. Slow pushing? Yep. Okay. Now just don't use any abilities. Now if I walk up again, I want you to all in, but be ready to flash after me and ignite, okay? Let's go. Good. That was good. Do you see? That okay. is that is basically Wukong in a nutshell. Okay. Let's leave and try again. This time I'm going to be a little bit harder on you. Sure. So, like, uh, I think one part item here is that um, you, you talk about is the whenever you walk up, I should try to eat you, right? Every time. Yeah, so I, I was trying to do that, but but it seems like you're tethering around that range that I cannot, like, mm, eat me. I know I'm in the range. I'm in the range. You constantly have to be checking by pressing E onto me okay. while you're farming. I'm in, when I was telling you to E, I was in range. I think you're just, uh, you're, I think you're tunneled too much on the farming aspect. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Also, um, I want to check your settings because I think I'm seeing your indicator too, which you don't want. So I'm going to change something for you once we get into game. No problem. Um, yeah, for a second there, I was like, am I being trolled right now? Like, why aren't you eating to me? <laughs> so... Go to... Okay, quick cast all is on. Yeah, you click that. And then the replace quick cast with indicator. Turn that off. This one? Yeah, turn that off right. and press OK. Okay. Uh, go to go to the lane. And I want to have you do something else. Go back into your settings. Oh, wait. Should I buy some items? Oh, yeah, yeah. Buy your door and split. Okay, and go to the lane? Yep. Okay. Now open your settings again. Scroll down. Open abilities and summoner spells. Change all these spells. The shift or so spell one all the way to spell four. Go shift Q, shift W, shift E, shift R. Okay? So click it. Click it. Shift Q. Shift Q. Yep. And then the next one, shift W. Shift W. Shift okay. E. Shift R. Then press OK. How about that's good. No, that's Should good. That's good. No, that's good. That's good. You're good. Press OK. Perfect. So now, level up your E, just like you normally would. Now hold Shift Q or Shift E. I mean. Now just tap E on me. No, let go of that. Let go of that. Let go of Shift. Uh, so just press E. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Now walk up to me and just press E. See, it's instant. So, my goal is was basically to just give you the option. So, you can do a manual cast or you can do an instant cast. Okay. So, now, same thing. Auto the minions just a couple times and then slow push. Okay. Now, slow push. If I walk up, you E me, auto, and then run to the brush. You should have E'd me there. Yeah, go to the brush. Be really snappy about it, and then go right back to guarding the wave. And when you turn level two, try to all in me. 
Good. That's good. Now go right back out of the out of the minion aggro. Good. And then slow push again. So you might have pushed a little too fast here. Now what this means is you're gonna be on defense sooner because you pushed fast, okay? Okay. So now the same rules as before. Yes, you're ahead of me in uh in uh, HP, but don't get cocky because you can very easily throw when you're on defense. So not don't try to stay in the waves in, in the defense bounce back. It's very dangerous. Like you can do it, but like you can get outplayed very easily. So just be very careful. Because if I walk up here, you may think you can win, but it's it's very tough because I have minions behind me. And they will help. Like you were actually in my minions wave so I can do a short trade or is it? it Maybe, but you have to be very careful and do it quick. Like e, you would E, auto, Q, and W back out before I get you. Now, just like before, I have a huge wave under tower. So if you auto me, all you? the minions will will target. So be careful. I would use my pod if I were you. So now I'm just, like I said, I'm up in the difficulty a little bit. Now you would want to push into me because I have too many minions. So if you let there get too many minions, I could still push into you. So keep autoing. Now, if I walk up to you, the way to block the silence is to just W before it hits you. Okay. Good. Now push into me and then don't use any abilities. And if I get close, try to all in me. Good. I push hard because you're Garen. The Garen's low, but you got to push hard. If you want to e me, you better try. Yeah, you better go for it. Good. Good. I was wondering when you were gonna do that. I was like, yeah, you better flash. <laughs> cool. Leave again? Yeah. That's All right. good. This is the best way to learn laning when you're new. As to just go step by step. So I'm gonna start up in the difficulty more and more. Okay. Hey. Sure. Now what's gonna happen this time is I'm done giving you uh free all ins. Okay. Okay. So now what we're gonna start doing is I'm gonna start fighting for the wave with you right away. And I feel like this is very helpful. Yeah, yeah I hope so. Like, so like th these kind of things, like um, it comes to become very natural to my friends, so they they cannot really tell me. No. Yeah. What, exactly. It's hard know. to break this down. Yeah. That's pretty much why I have a job. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's really tough to like explain this shit to people. It's nowhere as easy as it should be to explain this game. I mean, Riot doesn't even explain this stuff. They don't even bother trying to explain these things. There's no drills or nothing in the client. So what if I have to leash for my jungle? So in that circumstance, what would you do? Uh, then you probably don't get the push. Try again. Sure. So there's a couple things here. Can I not 
Oh, we're not auto attacking you. So it's okay. It's okay to auto attack me. Um, but you got to be really like, it's kind of a dance because what's going to happen is every time you try to auto attack me, I'm going to kite away from you, right? You have to try to do the same thing. If you can auto attack me and I don't auto attack you at all back, you win. I will be the best. Okay. Right. However, if you notice, I don't just let you have auto attacks all the time. I back up after every auto attack. So the good news is most of the opponents that you face are never going to fight you like this. So you should be getting like a lot better experience in doing it this way. So just keep keep working on this and I'll keep trying to, to fix up what you're doing wrong. The main thing is after every auto attack, just be aware that like if you auto me, I'm going to immediately try to auto you back and then I'm going to step away from you. And I'm going to do a little dance with you to try to to basically try to make you unable to auto attack me. So walk to the middle of the lane and I'll show you what I mean. I see a lot of player like silver doing this to me. I think yeah, that's why it just I feel takes like practice. Silver players are so strong. I've never seen this in, in bronze. So watch, So walk up and start fighting and you'll see it right away. Auto calling? Yeah, you can use your E. You can use your E. So you see? Press B. You see how you win though? Press B quick. I want you to get your health back. But do you see how, like, after every auto, I'm backing away? Right. That's what you should try to incorporate into your game. I'm going to let you, uh, I'm only going to auto the wave when you're with me. So this time I will have Flash Ignite. Right? This, right. Would, this would simulate a, uh, what, like, your top laner, like, fails an invade or something, right? And they show up with no sums. So I won't auto the wave until you do here. Now, what happened there was I was getting the... I, okay, let me explain what just happened. So, basically... Go ahead and leave. Okay. I was autoing you every time you go to auto a creep. Okay? Now... Right. When I... Basically, when I do that, I'm getting an HP lead over you. I noticed when you got level 2, you, you fought me one time... And then you just let me just chill on the wave. But what you you need to realize is that you could actually just walk at me to tower and I have to walk away. The only reason that I'm allowed to stand there is because you're letting me. Does but that make sense? If I walk to you, then I will be, I'll be attacked by minions, right? Yeah, but you have the level lead and you had ignite. Okay. I ignite does more damage with levels. And you get more base stat with levels, and you have an extra ability over me. So you win regardless of minions. Okay? Okay. So, when you, and, and every time that you see me auto queue you, you should either 
you should basically try to avoid that. But once I do it, as soon as your silence wears off, you need to try to E me and auto me and back away just like I do to you, right? I keep trying to cue you and then run straight backwards. You try to do the same thing. All right, come and meet me in the middle here for a quick goofy 1v1. Sure. sure. Just to get you comfortable with fighting champions. Rip. So in a real game, if that happened, you would reset, press B. All right, same rules. I won't auto attack the wave until you do. There you go. Now touch the brush right there. Just go right to the brush. Good. Push, 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 push. Now don't let me auto you for free. There you go. Now push again. Good. Now try to E me. Auto and back away. Just back away. Don't let me trade in. You see? Don't let me do that to you. Just quick and short. Now slow push. You're good. Now don't let me farm in front of you. See? If you do it real quick, now slow down. Slow the push down. Now you could, there you go. There you go. You should have let it go. You could have killed me. How can I kill you? Flash, auto, Q, ignite. Is that damage enough? Yeah, you would have killed me there because I was only level one. Okay. Leave, try again. If you don't do it to me, I'm going to do it to you. So when you get people low and you have levels, don't be afraid, okay? Go for it. It's okay. And this is the time because you're, you're, we're just customs, right? That was looking a lot better though that time. That was looking a lot better. Nice. So now we just got to keep working on it. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. This is like the hyperbolic time chamber for laning. Oh, it is. Just quick, so, quick I typically take teleporter. Fuck that. And Just go teleport ignite. I see. So always go with ignite. I think so. Yeah, I think there's just too, there's just too many, there's too much free gold for you to not do that. Or take flash ignite. I don't care. Just take ignite. Until you're, until you're at a higher elo, you need to get, you need to trust me, just this, what we do tonight is going to make you so much scarier at the game. I, I don't know why I took Wukong, but I have the same champion as you. It's the same drill. Doesn't matter. It's just a different champion. <laughs> now, same thing here. Come fight me again. I won't use any summons. Okay. So do you know why you're um why you're winning that? I have bone plating. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. And I have reset, reset. You'd reset in a real uh, game. Don't I ever start helping like right. this. What's that? I have the tech speed, so I stack on my armor faster. Yes, I have I think I have a tech speed too. Uh, it should be about the same. But yeah, the bone plating is fucking huge in those 1v1s. Huge, huge, huge. And I usually play blind picks, so some, so I just go with bone plating most of the time. Mm. Sorry, I yeah. just pressed a, a button on accident. So you see how those just those little auto attacks just add up so fast? 
Yeah. So you have to, when you see me, look at the screen real quick. When you see me move at you, you have to choose, right? This is where it gets harder. Either you click back or you auto me back. Okay. I can never get a free auto on you for nothing. That's how you need to view it. Okay. It's but very hard because I'm clicking if, fast. Go ahead and leave. For, for me when I'm um, pick, get, gathering the minions. Go ahead and leave real quick. We'll, we'll rejoin. So what, what was your question? So I, I need to farm, right? So if I, if you, whenever I walk to the minions, you just walk up, then I cannot farm. Yeah. So basically as long, if you see, it's a mind game because if you see me auto the minions, then you can do the same thing that I'm doing to you. Right now, I've taught you to push, right? But right. I'm, I haven't taught you how to set traps yet. So basically, what it is, is every time you auto, there's a chance that your opponent is going to auto you back. The reason why it's okay sometimes to get autoed is because as soon as you turn level 2, you can just go all in on them and just kill them. Even if they're like half, even if I've got like double your HP, you could probably kill me with level two, literally. Okay. That's how it works. Cause your ignite actually does damage and you, and you get uh, HP back off level two. All this is all the same, no matter what champions you face. Okay. The only okay. thing that gets harder is the range matchups and I'll show you range matchups next. Come out here and duel me. You know the you know the drill. Now in a real game, you would walk all the way to that tower and try to hit your E if 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 I'm outside of tower range. But don't be afraid to like test that line, okay? Okay. Because you have your E up before me. Remember that. It's all, it's all the same. Our timing's the same. This looks good. Put me to the waiting for this. So, this is getting a lot better. You're getting a lot better with this. Leave. Leave again? Yep. You're getting a lot better at this. This is so much better than what you started with. I, I want you to realize that. So Thanks. much better. So much better. <laughs> I went back to Garen. Now, there's another trick you can do um, if your opponent is like pushing the wave kind of fast for whatever reason. You can use your E to get attack speed as well. So you yeah. could you could E the minions, right, and then push really quick with your E. Yeah, not for that. Then I. But yes, you're, you're right. You're you're right. You're right. It would it would hurt. I'm just saying that sometimes you may need to do that to slow a push down. Yeah. Or slow their push down. Okay. You could also E to a minion to give yourself attack speed and to get closer to your opponent if they're just outside of your range. That's another thing. Okay. That because yeah, that, that gives you attack speed. So like for facing some champions, I usually go. A, because I need that attack speed if they go straight up level one trade with me. Yeah. So one thing you'll notice, good, that's good. One thing you'll notice, press B, is that if I walk away from you during the trade, you can't hit me anymore. Because you're in that animation. Can we repeat that? I, I think I missed so that. When I walk, when I walk backwards in between those auto attacks like that, the trade's pretty much over. So always remember that. Like you can always get kind of mind gamed by people 
if they walk straight away, like turn right backwards around, they won't just have to fight you the whole time. It just depends on how they're moving. But yeah, if they're mean, just standing there autoing you. Away, I should try to fight back or. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can. But the thing is, when you eat, try to like preemptively walk behind them where they're going to go. Okay. All right, let's do this. Don't be afraid to E me and then auto faster if I'm doing this shit. There you go. That's good. That was good. Got slow down. That's good. Slow the push down. This is good. You have to be careful with that silence because of that. Use your pot. Keep potting. Don't pussy out. Now you'd flash E here. Don't run. See? I think I'm within the, like one shot range of your Q, right? Yes, but the thing is, if you move quickly, I won't be able to do anything about it. As long as I don't get leaf, as long as I don't get level two, you, uh, that's what I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to show you that like, even if I, you see, I ignited you. I did all the same shit that I did before, except you lived because you were level two and I wasn't. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. I, w I was, I was so, I was, uh, I was just, just like trying to run away from the Q flash. Yeah, but it's like you need to you need to view it as you're in a position of strength. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. You're in a strong spot. If you're level two and I'm not, you're in a strong spot. No question here. Like if Garen starts E, then I naturally cannot I'll push him, right? Oh, uh you just beat his ass. If he does oh, that. You mean just even he outpushes, then I just 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 fight back in level one. Yeah, so like don't sit in the E, just push, and then once the E runs out, E on to him. As Wukong, just E on to him. Hit him a few times and then jump in the brush and then push. He can't do anything. Like I'll show you. Like I'll I'll start I'll start E. I'm not gonna fight you this time. I'll start okay. E on the in the wave and I'll show you. I'll just start pushing. So if I walk up. Yep, now push. Now E me. Don't be afraid. Yep. Keep potting. Same rules as before. You see how you let it go? Use your pot. The only reason that you lost this is because you, um... You didn't commit hard enough to it. You see how it's, even though it's that close, the rules still are the, you see what I mean? If yeah. I have the wave and I hit level two, you're gonna lose. Even though your champion's stronger, you can still lose.